Hey, what's going on, fam? It's your sister Michelle here talking about the narcissist. Of course, so let's get straight to the chit. Let's talk about the narcissist and the reverse discard. Ooh, these terrible things, they so slick. Well, they think they are. When a narcissist wants you to leave the relationship and they don't have the fucking balls <laughs> or whatever to leave the situation on their own so they don't feel an extra form of guilt, because that's what it is. It's never remorse or genuine care. We know that it's a bunch of guilt. They carry so much guilt. And that's extra guilt because they know you didn't do shit wrong. They know deep inside that you didn't deserve it. So they'll do tactics to make you discard them. Oh yeah. They get either silent. You get the silent treatment all of a sudden. Everything changes. You know a grand change in them. Or even the abuse gets worse. The name calling. The verbal bashing. The way of making you feel like you're insignificant gets worse and worse as if it is not worse enough. But when they want you to discard yourself from the situation, you'll notice a lot of different things. You'll know. If you've been with a narcissist, you know what they got going on when they start behaving this way. And the reason why they want you, like I said, to reverse discard yourself is because of the guilt. But also, they can go on and tell other people, I didn't leave. She left me. It helps justify them moving on so quickly to something else. Because you know that's what they do. They don't move on quickly to somebody else. I keep telling people that. What it is that they already had something anyway. You know that. They didn't move on quickly like that. Honey, it was already there. But they are telling people because they made you discard the situation and the relationship. You did it. I didn't leave the situation. I didn't leave my children. I didn't leave the household. She put me out. I went through it. She didn't want me no more. I tried. What did you want me to do? Can't do no more. That was their choice. They're always playing the victim. And there's no better way to play the victim than to get you to get rid of your own self out of the situation. To discard yourself. To remove yourself from it. And a lot of times, when you're in love with a narcissist, unfortunately for us, we don't necessarily want to move. We should move. We know we should move. And we go through this over and over again with them because we are tied to them, like I told you, spiritually. It's hard for us to go even away when we know they want us to leave. We know it, but they will push your buttons continuously until you do just that. Only to come back and hoover you after they did it. Ain't that some weird shit? But you know they don't think right. Be careful with that. If you feel like you're going through it, that's exactly what it is. What you feel is valid and is true. That's what I learned about a narcissist. What you feel in your gut, baby, you better listen to it. Listen to your sister. They'll only come back around again to try to blame it on you and gaslight you and say, I didn't do shit. You did it. I love y'all. Bye.